Guys, a new learning game just dropped on the block, and in this video, we're gonna be checking out the new learning game. And I'm your boy, One Doctor Genius, and let's get on to our video. Alright guys, so this new learning game is known as Dreamscape and in this video we're going to be playing this educational learning game, Dreamscape. Let's log in and start playing. Alright guys, so as you can see, Dreamscape is basically a base building game where you guys build up your base, build up its defenses, train your army, and try taking on other people's custom built bases. So this is all a base building game where you guys can have fun with your friends. So not only can you play and learn English at the same time, you guys can have fun with your friends. Which is amazing if you guys ask me. Guys, So now I'm going to hop on into an interview with the lead developer, the techno wizard himself, Sam. So let's get straight to that. Yay. Uh, hey guys, I'm Sam, the lead game developer of Dreamscape. The cool fact about me is when I'm not working on Dreamscape, I love to play and write music outside of work. That is amazing. A musician. Woohoo. All right. Now that we have an idea of who Sam is, let's get straight to the interview questions. All right, Sam. So my first interview question is, describe Dreamscape in 20 words. Great. So Dreamscape is a free educational video game where players are dropped into a realm of dreams and they need to defend their dwell from invading reveries. Wow, yeah. that is amazing. Now let's move on to our next question. Right. Can you please tell us two fun and interesting facts? Sure. One interesting fact about Dreamscape is there are more than 60 heroes to unlock in Dreamscape. 60 heroes? heroes. So crazy. Uh, yeah, each hero has different stats and even spells for the mage type that get stronger when you level up. So there's a lot to collect in Dreamscape. That's absolutely crazy. Like 60 different heroes with different spells. Oh, I cannot wait to collect all of them and make more videos on this. So, another fun fact is that new season called Cyber Sea. Sounds cool, Cyber Sea. Sounds like it's some sort of, like, technology warfare. <laughs> so cool. And guys, do you guys know that I actually do have some of the assets in the game? So if you guys want to see some sneak peeks of what's coming up, well, I'd recommend you guys watch all the way through to the video and see if you guys can see what's coming up new in Cyber Sea. Our next question is, how old is Dreamscape? Dreamscape was launched in fall 2018 and has evolved a lot over the past two and a half years. Wow, okay, so Dreamscape is two and a half years old and this much work in two and a half years. The game looks absolutely amazing. And let's move on to our next question. How many kids play Dreamscape on average? Currently we have around two and a half million students registered in over 160 different countries across the world. Okay, that is absolutely crazy. Two and a half million, that's how many views I have on my YouTube channel. And 160 countries, that's like, uh, like 20 less than the actual amount of countries I have, no idea. Now, my last thing is an observation which I made about the game. I've noticed that the game has membership, and I was wondering if you could tell us some features about the membership in the game. Yeah, sure. So, the membership includes things like new pets, new heroes, skins, uh, time boosts to move your base along faster, and a lot more. It also gives you full access to all the season rewards. Uh, so there's a lot to unlock with it. All right, so it seems like that the membership is absolutely crazy and it will like just completely boost us forward a bit, right? All right guys, so that was just a little bit of our interview. We're gonna hop into the game and we're gonna walk you guys through some tips and tricks which you guys can use to level up your buildings faster and get to a battle so you guys might be able to battle me in my next video. Um, Sam, would you like to join us in our walkthrough to Dreamscape? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, then let's hop straight into it. Bam! So over here, I've opened up Dreamscape, and in the background, you guys can hear Sam. Hey, guys. All right, guys, so after finishing the Dreamscape tutorial, your base will look like this after it's been attacked, right, guys? Now, you may be wondering, what do I do from over here? So basically, the main goal is to get a lot of Maginanium and Mirage to upgrade your Vision Core and your defenses. And if you guys follow along with this place, keep on visiting the shop. Alright guys, so that's not the only thing. You guys might have noticed that there's something in the game known as M-Coins. These shiny things up over here. What are M-Coins and how do we get them? Well, if you guys don't know, M-Coins are absolutely amazing in the game. Like, they help you out so much, it is unbelievable. Alright guys, M-Coins have a few ways they can help you out. Alright guys, do you notice your avatar over here? This guy, this is known as your avatar, right? 
Right now, my avatar has this uniform equipped, and right over here. Now, the next thing is, do you guys notice your pet over here? Right now, I have a Nightmara as a pet. Right, as you guys can see over here, you may be wondering, well, what's so special about the Nightmara, and what's up with the stuff about it? There are two ways to level up your avatar and your pet, right guys? Now, in order to explain this more efficiently, I'll open up my hero hub over here. Alright guys, whoa, what is this? Well, you guys can see we have all six pets and all 60 avatars. And what else do you guys notice? Well, BAMMY on the side over here, you guys can see there are two ways to level this guy up. You can level them up using XP, or you can level them up using M coins. Right now, M coins are important for this matter of fact, and not only this. Right, it has huge potential beyond this, right? Now, so this is basically one of the things you guys can level up your units using this. I kind of want to level up my Nightmara to level 40, but unfortunately I cannot. I do not have enough M coins, nor will I had enough XP, but if I had not spent it, I would have had enough. Right, and that's not the only thing. If you scroll down over here, you guys can see we have the head of a character. What's this? Well, on the bottom, you guys can see you can complete the character using your M coins. You can spend the 70 M coins, and you guys will be able to unlock the character. You guys can unlock the character if you have unlocked the bottom or the top half of it. Now, of course, the price of the M coins depends on the rarity of the character, right? Like, um, white over here is common, and blue is rare, and... Uh, purple is epic, and the gold is legendary. Right, so you guys can see it follows the same theme, and now it seems like that rare and legendary um, avatars are only available to members. But right over here, you guys can see I can I'm able to unlock some of these guys if I just spend this stuff. Right now, that's not one of the only things which you guys can do with M coins. I'm gonna let Sam explain one of the other points which you guys can do with them. Yeah, sure. So another big benefit of M coins is spending them in the reward shop. So. In the reward shop, you can spend M coins on skins for your buildings, other pieces of heroes, or various other things that will show up in the skins menu. So here you can see there are skins for your co, there's a fire co, there's also a new dance for your avatar that uh, they will do before a battle or on your base. Um, yeah, so a lot of different rewards you can unlock with M coins. Yeah, it seems like we're able to finish off our heroes, and how often do the shops reset or give us new skins? So, that's a great thing. If you come back every day, then you'll see a new shop every day. So, if you're working on trying to find the other piece of a hero, you should make sure you look at the shop at least once a day to see if the hero is there. Alright, so you guys can see we basically get new skins, and another thing is boxes. Now, what's so important about boxes? Well, the reward boxes are boxes that will guarantee you a reward of the tier of the box. So, if you have enough Aurora to uh, unlock the reward, you'll be guaranteed a reward of that tier. So, the epic box will guaranteed give you an epic reward. Another thing uh, you should know about rewards is the red rewards are a special tier that are untradeable. The reason they're untradeable is they won't show up in the shop, so you probably unlock them uh, through either single player or a season, and then there would be no way to get them back, so you can't trade them in. Oh, okay. So yeah, there you guys go. Certain consumables you cannot trade in because they're too rare. This isn't the only thing, right? Do you guys see how my bases over here require me to answer 10 questions, 10 questions, and 11 questions? Well, previously, this required me to answer 40 questions, and my vision core required me to answer nearly 36 questions, right? And that's a lot of questions, but that's where these, um, that's where the boosts come in handy, right? Now, what are boosts, you may ask? Well, boosts are... So, yeah, boosts will give you double amount of questions per question, per correct question. So uh, a member time boost lasts for 15 questions, and each question you answer, if you get it correctly, it will actually progress your troops and your buildings uh, to questions instead. All right, guys, so there you guys could see those were the features of what these um, boosts give you. They basically answer two questions at a time, and that is extremely helpful when you have large quests, right? So you guys should save up for boosts because I think they provide the most value, but what really gives you the most value in the class? Having the most skins or having boosts? I don't know, but if you ask me, I'd go for cosmetics first. What would you do, Sam? I also really like the skins. It's, it's fun to try to collect the same skin for all your buildings and then have a, a base of just all of the same theme. I also really like the backgrounds. It, it really makes an impact when someone's attacking you. Right, these things are super rare. 
meaning there isn't a value for them and you won't be able to buy them in the shop. Right, so you guys can trade in your other skins, which would be purple over here. Unfortunately, I only have two skins, but you guys can tell that these two skins are also pretty cool. Now, another thing which you may or may not know about is Reverie skins. Now, Reverie skins are absolutely amazing because these things, these are like special customizable skins for your characters who are attacking other people's bases. Like, if you guys ask me, having a rare skin and attacking someone else's base is like, oh, ultimate power. Right, so you guys can see there are a lot of skins over here. Unfortunately, I haven't unlocked too many of them, but you guys can see I do have the tie-dye reverie and we have these other few. And here are um and here are some other skins which you guys can see. These customizable skins will only be available to members, so you guys can flex on non-members or you guys can show other members who is better. Okay, so over here you guys can see we basically have the season pass if you're a member. Now, what's so special about this? Well, having the season pass when you're a member gives you the chance to unlock extra rewards, right? If you guys look over here, in the very beginning, members do get a huge advantage where they get a reward for everything which they advance in. So becoming a member not only gives you extra member coins from this over here, you guys also get extra rewards and extra hats for these characters, right? And most of this stuff is actually pretty rare, so you guys won't be able to get it on in other seasons, but you guys can tell. It looks pretty cool, right? So an advantage of becoming a member is that you get these awesome rewards on the bottom, and... Not gonna lie, the rewards on the top are also pretty good, but the bottom rewards are better, so I'd recommend you guys get membership if you guys, like, like, want a lot of rare stuff in the game. Alright guys, so that is all for this video, and I hope you guys found this video informational, and if you guys want to play Dreamscape, click on the link in the description down below, and if you guys get membership by clicking on that link, not only do you guys get a discount, but you also help support my YouTube channel and help me grow, so that is an amazing thing which you guys can do by just clicking the links in the description. Thank you, Sam, for giving us this exclusive interview along with some tips and tricks about the game. I hope to see you soon on our channel once again, and thank you so much for being in this video, and I will be catching you later. I'd just really like to say thanks for having me, and hope to be here again sometime soon. And now, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out Dreamscape's channel, and the link will be in the description as well, and subscribe to both of our channels. Turn on the notification bells, give this video among us thumbs up, and I will be catching you all next time. One Doctor Genius, out the house.